This is a great kitty. Do rag wisdom here, folks, and welcome to Y2K 18.02.22, Washington's traditional birthday. And it's 257 days until the midterm elections. And we are here. This retired teacher says, Dodge City, Deadwood, Washington, D.C. I worked 31 years as a teacher with 28 of those in the New York City school system, and I retired, you know, honorably with a pension, you know, without any blemishes on my record. In all those years, and I was from, you know, from the late 70s into, uh, you know, Y2K9. It's like, you know, I never thought of all those years of bringing a gun <laughs> to, a, to a classroom and only saw such nonsense in satirical movies like Richard Lester's classic Class of 1984, where there is a scene showing Rowdy McDowell as a teacher, uh, bringing, he's a science teacher, and he brings a gun to class in order to make his rowdy students pay attention to his subject. My main concern over my entire career was attempting to teach my students in an environment where parents didn't care. They didn't even raise their kids. Where administrative politics and adult bullshit were the order of the day. Now nowadays we have a creep at the head of our country who's, who's suggesting that teachers should bring, you know, some teachers should bring weapons weapons to school. And of course I retired just in time for it to get worse. Post 9-11, our children, they are growing up in an era of violent terror and political right-wing propaganda. I would even consider calling it Trump terror. Our species may never evolve as long as we have Trump, Putin, thug, naked apes running our world with child molesting fury. Don't forget Roy Moore. The Trump Putin traitor birther bastard suggests that teachers should be able to come to school armed. If teachers get murdered in the line of duty now, as Lawrence O'Donnell so rightfully puts it, they are simply taken off the payroll. O'Donnell thinks that teachers should literally get combat pay because they are expected to lay their lives down in the event something violent happens in a school. Teachers are not hired to be armed guards. They're hired to teach. But this is no longer the normal world anymore. This is the teabagger terror Trump era. So the rules are no longer in force. There are different rules now. This is a dystopian, horrific science fiction saga, which I don't know how it's gonna end but it doesn't look good. See you, Jimmy. The world that the Trump terrorism is trying to create is one where we accept the notion, we accept it, of a nationwide, gunslinging, Wild West days, Dodge City, Deadwood. Either city if you want, either town, Dodge City or Deadwood where we accept the notion that we have mentally ill and sociopathic presidents who accept that the Second Amendment means firearms everywhere 
and nothing about well-regulated lawful state militias. Remember, there's two parts to that Second Amendment, which the first part, the well-regulated militia, nobody wants to even consider. When you buy a, 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 a weapon of death that can be used to kill, to murder, that imagine if you'd have to go for training, required training. Imagine if you'd have to go for a meeting every month or every other month. Imagine every six months you have to go to an overnight. Imagine that you have to be prepared in the event that your federal government decides to invade your state with unconstitutional lawlessness, that your governor is ready to call on you to be in this state militia and you have your firearm that you've been trained with. I don't believe anyone out there would want to be a member of a state militia legally. Illegally is one thing, but legally, that's something else. So we now have to simply accept the notion in this maggot Trump birther traitor era that this is the way it is. Guns are going to be out there. The, the um, NRA is in charge. They paid off so many politicians, especially Republican slimeballs, sadly. So, if we're going to arm teachers, why stop there? Come on. Let's let the whole nation be armed. Come on, give me a break. These creeps can come out anywhere. Anywhere. I think we should arm transit workers who man our trains and our buses. Arm the service people in our restaurants. You know, the wait people. The chef. Arm clerks in our grocery stores. Arm ushers and concession stand workers in a movie theater. All the movie theaters. Am I, you know, you get my drift so far? Come on, it's a good idea. Arm at least half of the tellers in every bank. You know, you know, you don't even need the bulletproof glass anymore. You know, miscreant comes in there. I believe that we should arm all the major league players of all sporting events, as well as arming those who sell us the peanuts, the popcorn, and the Cracker Jacks. Come on, let's arm us all.